this book was published in February 2017, is that correct? And uh, a lot has happened since then. Looking back on this year, are we failing or is the resistance strong? B minus. So, I mean, in terms of what's happened, I would like to think that a lot of the things I warned about from Mr. Trump have actually come true. I mm -hmm. wish I had been wrong about those mm -hmm. things, but just so that that's on, on the record. He has actually embodied a complete disregard for most of the unwritten conventions and a lot of the written rules of the way America is supposed to work. He has actually turned out to be the perhaps unwitting, but almost certainly witting pawn of a foreign power. Mm -hmm. um, it has turned out to be the case that we Americans were not really ready for this sort of thing, most of us. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, some of the institutions have done really well. So my heroes are the reporters. Mm -hmm. My heroes are the investigative journalists. Um, without them, um, without them, we don't have a clue, right? Without them, Mueller doesn't have a clue. Without them, Mueller doesn't know where to begin. Um, also, investigative report, without investigative reporters, we don't have the Panama Papers, we don't have the Paradise Papers, we don't have a sense of just how unequal our countries have become. We don't know that seven to 21 trillion dollars has been offshored, right, without the reporters. The reporters are giving us the chance, basically. Or to put it a different way, without them we have no chance. If this had happened in some world without The Guardian and without The Washington Post and without The New York Times, without the 2,000 or so investigative reporters, which is not very many, right? If it, if it happened in that world, we would already be done with. Mm. And Trump knows this, right? He's a skillful politician in many ways. And, one, and his instinct that the reporters are a problem is correct because the reporters keep the factual world going. So they, I mean, a lot of them have done really well. I would say this is a heroic age. I think that people are gonna look back and say, this was a heroic age of investigative reporting. And the lawyers have done, not all of them, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like one of them perjured himself to become attorney general. But the lawyers, the lawyers, yeah, he perjured himself, right? Mm -hmm. To become a, the highest law official in the land. It's, mm -hmm. extra, it's extraordinary, but it's not, like it doesn't rise to the top. Um, but the lawyers have done really well, which is sensitive for me because in, 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 the, in, in Germany in the 30s, the lawyers flipped. They flipped. I mean, they found ways, in a very proud legal tradition, they found ways of justifying what was happening. And all of the, or many of the commanders, most of the commanders of the Einsatz commandos who carried out the beginning of the Holocaust and other atrocities in 1941 were lawyers, were people with, with law degrees. So that's one that I'm sensitive about. Mm -hmm. and Amer so a lot of American lawyers have done, have done very good things. Um, there aren't enough people. <laughs> there are a lot of people doing great things. People are running for office. That's hugely important. People are realizing that elections are not just rituals, that you have to win sometimes mm -hmm. and you have to take risks sometimes. That, that's, that's great. I think we're not yet at the point where enough people realize what's at, what's at stake. Mm -hmm.